वेलकम गाइस कैन यू गेस व्हाट वी आर मेकिंग टुडे वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर पंजाबी डिश व्हिच इज बोथ स्पाइसी एंड टैंगी अकंपनीड बाय पिकल्स अनियंस एंड भटूरास नथिंग कैन बीट दिस फूड कॉम्बो देयर आर लॉट ऑफ वेरिएशंस बाय व्हिच छोले कैन बी मेड अमृतसरी छोले लाहौरी चिकर छोले पिंडी छोले बट टुडे वी विल बी मेकिंग अमृतसरी छोले विद भटूरे सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बाय मेकिंग डो फॉर भटूरास For this we will need 4 cups of all purpose flour 1 and 1/2 cup semolina or suji 2 teaspoons sugar 1/2 teaspoon baking powder and a pinch of baking soda one teaspoon salt mix all the dry ingredients properly and make a depression in the middle of the flour to add yogurt start mixing gradually to make a soft dough add water in parts and knead very gently Add around 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil into the dough and knead for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, we will get a soft dough like this. In the end, take some oil in your palm and grease the top of the dough to prevent a dry crust forming on the dough. Now cover it with a damp cloth and let it rest in a warm place for around 30 minutes. While our dough is resting, let's start making our amritsari chole. Here I have pre-soaked overnight 2 cups of chickpeas. I am making a large batch. You can adjust the measurements to half if you want. We are going to pressure cook our chickpeas. If we have pre-soaked them overnight, it will take about 5 to 6 whistles to cook these chickpeas perfectly. To get the full flavor out of whole spices, we will add them to the water along with the chickpeas. Add 3 black cardamoms, 1 teaspoon caram seeds, 8 to 10 black peppercorns, 4 to 5 cloves, 1 teaspoon salt, and 1 teaspoon cumin seeds. Lock the lid. and pressure cook for 5 to 6 whistles while our chickpeas are being cooked let's start making gravy for the chickpeas for this heat quarter cup of oil of your choice and add quarter teaspoon asafoetida and 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds to it when cumin seeds start to splutter add one dried red chili now we will add 2 tablespoons of minced garlic and cook it until the raw smell goes off and color changes to light golden brown add 2 tablespoons of finely chopped ginger with one green chili to give gravy a color we will add 2 teaspoons of turmeric and 1 teaspoon of kashmiri red chili give it a stir and add fine paste of one medium onion We will cook the onions until the oil separates out. Now we will add tomato pulp of 2 medium tomatoes and add some salt. Cook it until the moisture dries out and the volume is reduced. After adding tomatoes I like to cook my masala for 20 minutes on medium low heat to get that flavorful gravy. You can see the oil oozing out around the sides. It means our masala is perfectly cooked. Now it's time to add the dry spices. We will add 1 tablespoon coriander powder, 1/2 tablespoon garam masala, 1/4 teaspoon cinnamon powder. 
वन टी स्पून ड्राइड पॉम ग्रेनेट पाउडर हाफ टी स्पून रॉक सॉल्ट वन टी स्पून ग्राउंड क्यूमिन मिक्स दैम नाइसली एंड नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट एडिंग अवर कुकड चिक पीस Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and press the bell icon to get the notifications for latest uploaded videos. Before adding any water, we will cook them in masala for 5 minutes on medium low heat. Add water according to the consistency you desire. After adding water, cook for another 5 to 10 minutes to get that masala inside the chickpeas. Add fresh cilantro and dried fenugreek powder. Our amritsari chane are ready. Remove them in a bowl and let's check on our dough and start making the bhaturas. Divide dough into two equal halves and cover one half with damp cloth until you use up. And make 8 to 9 round balls with remaining half of 5 to 6 inches in diameter. While we make dough balls, heat some oil in a wok for frying. Grease the counter and flatten the dough ball and begin to roll evenly to round or oval shape. Bhaturas made with all-purpose flour shrink back a bit so roll them slightly bigger. Make sure the oil is moderately hot otherwise our bhaturas will not puff up. Use medium high flame while frying. Add bhatura and keep putting oil on top of bhatura to help it puff up. When one side is light golden, gently flip on the other side and fry. transfer to kitchen paper to remove excess oil serve immediately with chole onion rings and pickle i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming healthy soups and salad videos thanks for watching